Hey guys, what's up? Just thought I'd give you a little bit of an update since it's uh, not really a secret that my channel has been kind of dormant lately. So, you know, I figured it was about time to kind of just let you guys know what's going on and also uh, what you can expect in the future. So, uh, first things first, this is uh, Snowboard Kids that you're currently watching right now. It's a game on the Nintendo 64 released in 1997, I think. I, I could be way off with that, I'm not sure, but um, it's a fantastic game, one that I enjoyed a lot as a kid and still enjoy now, so uh, look into it if you haven't, but that's not really why we're here. Uh, what we're here for is to give you kind of an update on the current state of affairs. So uh, with that said, I don't have a script or anything, I'm just kind of winging this off the top of my head. It's liable to go on forever as I get all rambly and stuff, but, uh, well, you know, deal with it, I guess. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, Alright, so first things we probably should talk about are the uh, current outstanding LPs, and I don't mean in terms of quality, I mean in terms of they haven't been completed. Uh, Donkey Kong Country 2 is probably the easiest one to talk about. Um, all of the videos for it are actually recorded already, and they kind of have been for a while actually, it's really just been the editing that's kind of put me off, and uh, it's been the editing that's kind of put me off in general, it's turned into really a lot of work and uh, the motivation just hasn't been there, so I haven't really felt like getting to it. And I kind of enjoyed being on break, so, you know, uh, the, the Donkey Kong Country 2 videos are, you know, more or less there. Uh, I've just got to kind of put them together, so those will be out at some point. Now, in terms of Earthbound, that's definitely the bigger one. That's kind of the elephant in the room. Um, I don't have anything recorded for it, and honestly, I don't know that I ever actually will. Um, I've never really, the only LP that I've ever officially cancelled was Grand Theft Auto 4 way back in the day. But, uh, I feel like I'm gonna have to do the same for this one. I know a lot of you were, uh, looking forward to it, but honestly, I just do not have the motivation to keep going with that. I mean, I enjoy the game a lot, but, you know, at some point you can get kind of burnt out, and that's kind of just what's happened to me, I think. And in kind of deliberating this with myself, um... I, I basically figured people who are watching Earthbound, it's probably primarily made up of people who already know and like the game and just want to see me play it. I know obviously not everyone's going to fall into that category, but, you know, Earthbound's got such, like, a, you know, it's got such a following already, and I bet a lot of the people watching it are people who are, you know, into the game, like I said, and just want to see, you know, the game some more. Uh, in terms of people who you know, haven't seen the game before. There are lots of other LPs out there for it. It's a pretty popular game, so, you know, there's a lot of content out there. And, um, so, you know, as much as it pains me to do so, since I have a really good track record of completing basically everything that I, uh, start up, I think we're just gonna have to call that one quits. Uh, I had originally planned to start it back up at some point, but as time went on and, you know, I found the time to do it, I found myself actually just not wanting to. And I think if you don't want to do something, especially like this, this is 100% a hobby for me. Like, yeah, you know, I get ad revenue from it and stuff, but this is certainly not a business <laughs> or anything. Um, if I'm not enjoying it and I don't really want to do it, I don't really see the point in continuing it. So um, I think we're going to have to call this, uh, call it off at this point, which, you know, like I said, sorry if it is... Uh, disappointing to a lot of you, but, you know, at some point I've just got to take into account what I feel like I want to do and uh, kind of make the judgment call there, so. Now, that's not to say that I uh, anticipate this being the end of content for my channel or anything, certainly not. Um, I've been toying with, you know, a handful of ideas in my head about, like, things I could do, different things I could do that would kind of get me in a place where I would be more motivated to do content regularly again. Um, that's been kind of a big struggle. Like I said before, uh, editing is just a major beast. I'm not going to go through the entire process, but I mean, for, you know, for Earthbound, for example, it comes down to I deinterlace it, you know, I do a little work with my voice to make sure it's, you know, the highest quality I can get it. You know, I put everything together, and then I have to edit out the battles, and then I add graphics if, you know, some text needs to come up, or we need to explain what we bought in a store, or whatever, and I check each part of the voice, and, you know, cut out if there's ambient noise in the background, or if I have to cough, or something, you know, that stuff gets edited out. And it ends up taking way longer than it takes to record it. I mean, it takes like three or four times longer than it takes to record it, and when you've got 
you're trying to get an hour or an hour and a half's worth of video out a week, that ends up being a lot of time, uh, especially when I also work eight hour days every day of the week. I mean, it's time that I have if you want to count, you know, all the time spent out of work, but I want to spend some of that time doing other things too. So it ended up being kind of a commitment that I just did not feel like I wanted to pursue. I just kind of looked at the mountain of work and just really got demotivated and uh, never really got around to it. So but with that in mind, um, you know, I tried to find ways either around that or to make that less painful, you know, something that requires either less editing or even no editing or just a different kind of editing. You know, I thought about trying to do like coming up with some LPs that were subtitled, but you know, when I thought about that, like that's not really what I do. I mean, I've been doing this for over five years now, so you know, the channel kind of has a theme and I'd hate to like just cut my voice out of it like that would be a huge change so you know I toyed with stuff like that and thought about it and just uh, I don't feel like it's gonna work and uh, I've been kind of at a, at a crossroads I've kind of hit a you know creators block whatever you want to call it recently but it's not like all that thinking went for nothing um, I've come up with something that I think I'm actually going to just put the pedal to the metal and try it uh, I don't know how it's going to turn out, I don't know how well it will work, but it's kind of one of those things where, you know, if I want to get going again, we're just going to have to throw caution to the wind and try it, because it sounds like something I want to try, so, you know, screw it, let's go. So what I had in mind is we're going to start up a playthrough of a different game. Uh, like I said before, Donkey Kong Country 3, or 2, not, not 3, definitely not 3, Donkey Kong Country 2 will, you know, I'll get, there's only like 3 or 4 videos or something. Uh, I'll get those up at some point. It's a little bit of work that I'll just soldier through so we can finish that thing off because it's short. But I'm wanting to start up a playthrough of another game, which will kind of be our main thing. But I'm not going to make it like the traditional, you know, you divide it up into YouTube and parts, you split it up into 20, 30 minutes, that kind of stuff. What I'm planning to do with this, and just hear me out here, is I'm going to live stream the entire thing. Now, I realize that's a big commitment and that's, you know, <laughs> a lot more streaming than I've done in the past. I've done some streams in the past, I've done a handful. But um, I figure that's, I think that's the ticket out of this whole editing nightmare process. Because I'm not gonna throw those videos into like Vegas or whatever and, you know, cut out the battles and do all that editing. It's just all gonna be live, chat's gonna be there, we'll have interactions going on there. And that'll help maybe, you know, fill the lulls in action a little bit. And um, I think the dynamic could work there. And some of you also might be excited about this game choice. This is actually one that I've been asked about a lot. Uh, the game that I'm planning to play is Legend of Dragoon on the PlayStation 1. Now, I know that's another big RPG. It's actually a four-disc RPG, though it's not as long as you'd think for being four discs. But... Um, again, like I said, I think the whole chat dynamic and the whole thing being live will kind of cover up for some of the RPG, you know, the kind of pitfalls you have to watch out for. Because that game actually doesn't have excessive random battles. It's got some, but they're actually pretty manageable. You don't really need to grind for levels or anything, and any of that I can just do off screen between, you know, streams. That won't be so bad. And if we do this, you know, I pick an hour or two a night, like once or twice a week. You know, say we do that. If we do two hours a week, just as a rough estimate, then, you know, if it's a 30-hour game, we finish it in a few months. And that's kind of more like the traditional schedule. So I think that might be my ticket out of it, and I think that's what we're going to plan to do. Uh, I'm going to try to get the first stream up and going uh, sometime this week or next week. Definitely by next week. Uh, I'll set a hard limit by next Friday, really. And I'll, of course, be posting videos and and tweeting stuff out whenever we're going live with those. So uh, you can catch them there. And of course, I will be putting them all up on YouTube, which is kind of where the more traditional, like it'll be a Let's Play, just, you know, it was all live and spread out over, you know, two hours at a time type of thing. So it's still, all the content will be on YouTube like it always has been. It's just gonna be a little bit of a different dynamic. I mean, when you've been doing something you know, you've been doing relatively the same thing for like over five years now. I mean, when you think about it, like I was 19 when I started doing this. You know, I'm going to be turning 25 in a month now, so uh, in less than a month, actually. So, you know, things are, you know, things get different. Um, people end up having different interests and wanting to try different things. And I think we need to evolve. 
uh, if I want to keep this thing alive. So it's a step in kind of an unknown direction, but uh, hopefully it's a step that uh, you all will take with me. And even if we don't have a ton of people out live, you know, if we have a handful of people I can <laughs> I can hang out with and chat with, you know, that's great. And uh, maybe even if there are other people that want to actually get in on it, uh, like other video makers that I know, then we might be able to work that out too. So the possibilities are pretty endless. Um, I feel like that is really the way I'm going to have to take it if I want to get content flowing regularly again. Uh, I don't think the sort of traditional YouTube-only stuff is really going to fly with me for too much longer. So the good news is, even if you only follow me on YouTube and don't care at all about my live streams, you can, you know, you'll see all the videos there, and um, hopefully videos will start flowing, flowing more regularly again. And uh, I'm pretty excited about it, actually. This is one of those ideas that I had in mind for a few months and wasn't sure how it would work out, so I'm just gonna, you know, jump straight into the water here and we'll see how it goes. So thanks for sticking with me if you have. Uh, yeah, well, I guess if you have it, you probably aren't watching this now, <laughs> but uh, I know we've been away for a while, just, you know, I had to take some time, just take a break, take a little vacation, uh, just, you know, spend some time on actual life for a while, and uh, you know how it goes, everyone's got those periods. I think after five years, I can take a couple months off. I'm not going to tote this five-year thing all the time, but that's, that's a nice round number, you know? So uh, I'll use this as an excuse this time and you won't hear it out of me again. But anyway, thank you guys for sticking with me. Uh, I'll update you and let you guys know when I'm planning to start this whole streaming thing. And uh, you all are great, as always. So, And I appreciate everyone that's been uh, asking where stuff is. It's good to know that there are still people that are like really interested and really want to know when you're going to continue stuff. That kind of thing really helps keep me going. So thank you guys for being great fans. And uh, hopefully we can get back to producing some content and making some videos here. So again, I'll let you know when the live streams start. Uh, but otherwise, I think we're good here. I'm not sure how much of the Snowboard Kids video is going to be left. Uh, I'll let the rest of it play out if we're in a race. Uh, otherwise, you know, if the video is finished, sorry you've been staring at a black screen. Anyway, I'll stop rambling now. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. And uh, I'll let you know when we get going again. So thanks for watching. Take care.